Yeah, they kill the baby calves. No, the I'm boy calves sure. don't um the boy calves don't produce milk, you know what I mean? They don't produce milk, yeah. What do they do about it? Uh, stop eating uh, dairy products. Yeah, so they're waste product. That's not these are the same. Nah, there's different industries, man. It's the most humane method for stunning pigs before slaughter in Australia. To suffocate in this gas chamber. Rice milk, almond milk, soy milk. We've got vegan cheese and chocolate for bacon. Yeah, it's crazy, man. It is crazy. All made with other nuts or plants, healthier for us, and don't have to exploit mothers or steal calves away. You know much about these industries? No. <laughs> don't want to put you off your sandwich, mate. But you know, oh, is that Subway? It is Subway. You get the veggie patty sub, bro. No animals harm. So. I always have discussions with farmers and they genuinely care about their animals yeah. and they do the best welfare that they can and they, they call their, their animals and they come to them when they call them and they're really connected to these animals yeah. and what they do is they put them on the trailer and they drive them to the slaughterhouse and they feel terrible about it and these animals that have had a better life yeah. and value their life more, they have more of an interest in living, you know what I mean? So to take, to take them to the slaughterhouse is more of a betrayal. So do you think it's better to have better ways of slaughtering or do you think it's better for just the farmers to have no way of life in that manner? No, no, I don't want farmers not to have a way of making an income for his yeah. farming but just not at the expense of these beings so there's other viable sense. sources of income now and the more people that stop eating animal products it's going to open up the market for vegan products, soy milks, rice milk, uh, plant-based products which need farmers, we need farmers but we want to, to grow up like veggies and fruits and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah organic farming. All the uh, ways we the lose about the cow with yeah. the meat. Yeah. We'll have it so, yeah. But like if, if, if these were human slaves we wouldn't be saying hey it's you know the slave owners are going to lose their slaves from picking their cotton. We'd be taking it's it's a matter of justice, you know, just because the the person who's got the industry in their hands making the money mm -hmm. will lose some money or have to change, you know. So how do you then kind of look at what would happen to cows and sheep? Like what would happen to them? Yeah, if people weren't uh, earning money, yeah. keeping them on their land. True. Where are they going to go? Well, what the thing is, they they're oh. we've domesticated them to, to a point. We, we're breeding them by the millions into existence, so yeah. we can exploit them for their bodies and kill them. Yeah. So what would happen is we'd gradually, when people start to change, we'd gradually phase out the industry and stop breeding them into existence. Okay. So then we'd actually have no cows. No. We wouldn't have no cows. We'd probably have a natural less. amount of cows, less cows. We're breeding. We've got 70 billion land animals on Earth right now. Yeah. That's because of us. That's not because they naturally bred. I completely understand yeah. that, but what, coming from a country like the UK, yeah. there we have a very small amount of space, and there is not a lot of wild ground which people would be willing to donate to wild creatures if the cows and the sheep and things like that became wild creatures. The thing is, like grass-fed cattle is the most unsustainable meat you can eat yeah. because it takes up so much land. So if we freed up that land that we're breeding these cows to graze on, yeah. we'd have so much free land, it wouldn't even be an, uh, an issue. Like, but then that land is owned by someone, so then they lose out on their land and their property. But they can use it for other things. Why do they have but to use it the for... the cows are going to be on it. The thing is, these cows are individuals, yeah? Do you agree with that? No, 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 I completely... Yeah. I'm with you. You're with I, me on the cows, yeah, right? Yeah, completely. I'm, okay. not, I'm just saying that it's so difficult. I'm not saying that uh, what you're saying is not correct. Mm. I'm saying I wish we could do that, but I think... You don't think we can? No. Do you know that the... the Breeding these cows is destroying the environment, yeah? I yes, I yeah, understand that, no. but I don't I don't see where we can get to the point where these cows are or these creatures are roving the planet naturally well, on land which people currently own. Because if people have to give up that land and granted there may be some people who would be willing to donate their land for that cause, the thing which is, would be wonderful. The thing is we're not all gonna go vegan at once, so there's not gonna be a bunch of cows grazing land. Well, no, you know, there's going to be a slow, gradual phase out of these industries. That's Do you understand true. that? Yeah. So there's only going to be a few cows left at the end of it. Yeah. It's going to gradually. So it's not. I understand what you think. We're going to all go vegan. There's going to be a bunch of cows around. Oh no, no, that's not. And that's, that's not what what's going to happen is, well, Just what's going to wild cows like in India? Well, well, there is wild cows in Bali, and they they, yeah. they they live a lot longer. But yeah. we've domesticated them to the point where they're just like they're living two years, and we're killing them. Like, yeah. you know, this is this is our monster we've created, domesticated animals, and yeah. I just think. To breed them into existence for the sole purpose of ending their life at a fraction of, a, of, of their lifespan, putting them in this horrible place called a slaughterhouse, horrific conditions in most, 99% of places are horrific. Yeah. The places you've seen, country farms, yeah, they treat their animals amazingly, but that's not where people are buying their burgers from. Yeah. Either way, either scenario, animals are being either abused, tortured, murdered, looked after, 
cared for, and then betrayed and murdered. Yeah. So either scenario is wrong, it's destroying the planet, and it's unnecessary when we have all these options. Do you, do you know what I'm... Yeah, yeah, yeah like I on do, the same I page, yeah. Going, yeah. But I know what you, it's just so ingrained into culture, into tr everyone's yeah. relying on it yeah. as a monetary source, so we, yeah. we'd need to bring in new options for these people. We can't leave them out in the lurch here. Exactly. And that's what we want to work towards as well. We want to help everyone, animals, people, and the world and, and the earth. So I just think like... The environment too. And the environment. Yeah. Have you seen Cowspiracy? I'll give you this card yeah, here. I've seen it. You've seen it? Yeah. Awesome. You've seen... Well, here's got some health and some ethics. This is actually Land of Hope and Glory. Mm -hmm. um, this has got free range, humane raised um, animals. It's just the, the treatment of these animals. Okay. and. So all hidden camera footage. And here, while you're here, you can check out some vegan food. Oh, brilliant, thank oh, you. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. She literally has, is four days vegetarian. <laughs> oh, wow. She so, said that that's a step in the right direction. Yeah. It really is. My sister is vegan, so like, she encouraged you. She encouraged you. There's so many reasons why. There's a lot of reasons. It's not just one, it's not just, exactly. you know, there's but many. So the whole world, like. Yeah. And it helps us too. You can add years onto someone's life by stopping them from eating these products that yeah. are causing heart disease and cancer. Exactly, and it's health, yeah. Yeah. pollution, animals, like, mm. yeah. For me, it's for the Why animals. Not? You know, yeah. for me, it's for, for the animals. Because if, if it was dogs in there, we wouldn't be looking yeah, for humane exactly. ways to kill dogs. Yeah. We'd be saying, just stop breeding and killing the dogs. Yeah. You know, yeah. but I just think we've gone pigs, cows, chickens. They're here for us. Yeah. Let's do what we want to them. But through their eyes, they're like a dog. They yeah. want to live. You know. Uh, okay. Well, thank you. You're a legend. Much. Thanks, heaps for the conversation. I appreciate. It. I got some information. Don't be scared. I know it's hard to watch, but. Um, <laughs> You know, if we can't watch it, we shouldn't really be paying for it to happen. Yeah. I know, I like, I came back from Papua New Guinea, and yeah. it's like, they eat dogs there, and I was like, I can't, like, deal with that, but it's What's like, the difference? Exactly. There is no, is it? Oh, I see, you already know. <laughs> but less men than women, I guess. But that's 20% men, but I'm trying to target men and say, hey, you defend children, you defend uh, dogs. If someone was hurting a dog, you wouldn't want to see that happen. Yeah. So why are we doing this to chickens and birds? So I try to make it a more masculine thing to try to draw more men no, in. that's good. Even you eat vegetarian generally anyway. Uh, We've got vegan burgers, cheese, hot dogs, ice cream, pizza. UK is full of meat-free alternatives, Sainsbury's, it is, it is. Tesco. It's, it's, it's all about education. Really. Yeah, yeah. Like but no one knows what to eat. We exactly. think eat vegans eat lettuce. What do you want? I just want people to stop hurting animals and buying food that hurts them. Yeah. Because they're innocent, they did nothing wrong. Yeah. They didn't know, like, a chicken never done nothing wrong to me, so why do they have to go to a slaughterhouse or lay eggs for me until they get killed? You know? And what about if you have your own chicken in your garden? Well, I said, well, if they had their right, it's their property. It's their property. Well, and the chickens can't give us permission to take their eggs. Yeah. I have yeah. chicken back home. You have a chicken in your garden? Yeah. Do you, are you vegan except for that chicken in your garden? No, I don't eat the chicken yeah. and eggs. <laughs> <laughs> what about the fish? Do you have fish in your backyard at home? <laughs> no, no, I don't. Yeah. I don't. But like, if we look at the animal like they're a product, we're exploiting them. We only want the chicken because of what comes out of their butt, and yeah. it comes out of their butt. And it's like taking their child, or at least they think it's their child. Yeah, yeah, true. They're maternal animals, yeah? Fish or eggs are eggs. If you knew how smart, intelligent a fish were, you'd probably think differently about them. Cool, man, you're not contributing to any cruelty, and it's... Wow. Well, yeah, wow. Well, so it's not going to be hard for you to push a few things away. Stopping killing animals. I know it's a little bit extreme, but to the animal, it's their whole life. You've probably never seen anything like that before. No. You didn't know where, how, you, how your food was produced. But, uh, not to think about it. Oh, uh, yeah, well... I'd like some information, because it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's something that I... I I've been putting it off. And this here is an amazing resource called Challenge 22. This is a bit of the truth here, so you can see some ethics, you can see some environment. Best speech you'll ever hear as well is amazing, really, really well spoken. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah. they, it lives up to its name. That's awesome, that means you're already there. So here's, um, you know, environment, health, ethics, obviously they're all in support of uh, veganism. And this is my link, I know, I know how many people have gone to this website through my link. So you can say here, Look at all this information, and if you feel like it, you can do a 22-day challenge here. It's a sign, brother. A serendipitous sign, eh? We are in Byron, there's a lot of synchronicity happening. Yeah. A lot of synchronicity. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You should do it together, it'll be fun. Yeah, it sounds good. You should do it together, man, it's epic. It's you know a bit what? of a challenge, man. It's very personal. It's a personal choice, yeah. but it involves another being. True. Not all personal choices involve another being. It's growing massively really fast, so people are just waking up.